So uh, once we've run our application, so we want to make a change so that it allows we can be able to insert items to our database. So on our main content layout or on the activity main, we need to modify this button. So this we want when the user clicks on this button, we are able to display a dialog box that allows the user to enter the name of an item and then click save to insert it to our database. So I just want to change this button, give it a proper so I'll change that and add a plus here. So we can use Okay, so I'll pick the plus button, the green plus button from here. I'm just changing that. So we want when the user clicks on this button, we are able to insert that record into our database. So it will display a dialog box and we should insert it to the database. So next I'm going to create one extra layout for our dialog. So I'll call it dialog layout. And of course I'll add one each text. set the width to match the parent. And then of course I'll give it an ID. I'll give it an ID here. And call it edt item name. I can give it some margin. Okay, so once we've set up the dialog, now on our main activity is where we need to modify on this click of this button. So remember this is our button here that the user will click to add a new item. So at this point what you just need to do is, uh, I'll remove this since we are no longer with that. And of course, so when I want when the user clicks on this, I display a dialog. So I'll just do an alert dialog. And of course, I'll set the custom layout that we had created earlier. So I'll create a custom layout here. So I'll do final. So custom layout for this case is to allow us to set what, uh, what I had created earlier. Okay, so I'll give it view, and then I'll call it custom layout. So if you remember the name of our layout, Pass 
in this yeah. so here I have initial instantiated our layout that I had created so of course now I need to set uh, set the view so I'll set the view to my custom layout I can also set the title and I can call it add item that will be the title of my dialogue and then of course I can set it uh, an easier way of course would be to set it. I'll set a passive positive button yeah. so the positive button says save and then of course I'll add an on click listener here for this button so I'll use the dialog interface this here. I'll also add a negative button. Set negative button. This one I'll set it as cancel. And of course I'll add a and click this one again. Course, once you do that, you just need to add dot create function and also build the dot and also show that the dialog inside our dialog. Remember, we want to insert that into our database, so I'll get the edit text from the custom layout. We call it XDNM. So it's a custom layout. Then we find the view. And the ID if you ID dot edt item name. Of course I can create a variable called string name. We need to extract the value. And set it as string. It's a string value. So I'll now create an instance of my to do item. I'll set the name. So I'll set the name as uh, that is the name. I'll also set the status. Status, I'll set it as false for now. And to save it, I use my to do item DAO that we had initialized earlier. And then I do dot save, and then I pass in the new object that I just created. So I can also refresh the activity. So I'll add, I'll add in these two three methods. I'll also override the transition. So this will help you in avoiding the, the flicking uh, experience. And also restart the activity. So that we can reload our, our list. Okay, that is it. Or I can also display a toast.
so I can display the name. So that is it. So let's try and run our application and see if we will get some results. So when I run it, so you can see that uh, the scrolling is not perfect, so we can fix that first. And how to do that is, let's see, in our item row, we can reduce, we can wrap content for the height and run it again. Let's see the output. Yes, so you can see that we are able to add new items. Let's add another one. So you can see we are able to, lo to add items into our database and also load them from the database. So thank you very much for watching this video. Make sure you watch out for the second part where we'll do more announcements for this application. And also don't forget to subscribe.